Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is J Flo Triple Bo. Okay, change your handyman. Okay. Okay. All right. So on a lighter note, uh, I want to wish everybody a happy uh, Christmas Day. Uh, God is good all the time, and all the time God is good. So I have been looking for some videos on how to replace uh, a pump for a Graco model number is 17N is in Nancy 222. Um, this particular model is a uh, Pro Shot Ultimate MX airless handheld sprayer, and it comes with the uh, Mil uh, Dewalt um, battery. Uh, so. If any of you guys have owned these um, sprayers before by Graco, uh, you'll know that the the Pro Shot One and the Pro Shot Two, which I've had both, uh, this one I guess you would say the Pro Shot Three, but nonetheless it is not. It is actually called the Ultimate MX, and so um, there are not any videos out there that I've found uh, that show you how to replace a pump. Um, so typically. You know, when you use one of these sprayers, I mean, you know, it the motor sounds great. I mean, the problem with this particular brand uh, that I purchased is that um, if it don't get cleaned properly, um, then your paint tends to get stuck up in the seals and whatnot. And I believe that's what happened to this one. So I made a video uh, before this, and uh, you can look at some of my videos in the past, and you'll learn to find that I actually replaced the... Uh, the guts well this one here does not have guts like the other ones the other ones has right here at the top it has a little hole uh, with an allen wrench that looks like a three-quarter inch allen wrench or half inch I'm pretty sure it's metric um, and so you pop that thing out and you replace all the inner guts of it and this one here you see here you got one here and one here the problem with these here is these are made like of a plastic and it comes with the tool so that you can be able to take these out and replace them. The problem with this being made out of plastic is it's not very durable. So when you when I went to put my tool in there to try to remove it, uh, it would not remove. In fact, the um, plastic portion on all eight sides, or is it, let's see, one, two, three, six, um, it started to bend and you weren't even able to unscrew it. So Graco was uh, nice enough to send me a free uh, uh, pump. So I'm going to attempt to do that now. Um, hope that you guys would like this video. Uh, because if you're like me and you spend all this money on your products or power tools. And then lo and behold you can't use it no more. Because one, either it wasn't maintained properly. Or two, the... the um, actual manufacturer it was defective uh, the tool was defective and so i know that there are a lot of guys out there that go through this particular problems and so i just wanted to make a video on how to repair this yourself so that you don't have to send it in and pay two three hundred dollars not to mention the pub itself will probably run about three hundred dollars so overall you're probably looking at six hundred dollars this thing here was probably about seven eight ninety nine when i bought it and so this little bag here, um, what you do is you put this on primer. Um, so here is your little knobs. Straight down is primer. And so you, you first and foremost, you got to open this little latch. You let all your air out. And once you hear the air completely out, which you will be able to determine that by just listening, you put this cap back up. You put it on the downward position to primer, and then you put it there to spray. So, apart from that, like I said, this thing does not spray any. Um, it does not spray any uh, paint at all whatsoever now. And so I'm going to go ahead and uh, take it apart. Uh, the tools you're going to need for this particular item is a Phillips screw head and a star bit or torque. I'm not sure which one it is right now, um, but I will put it on the comments below so that you guys ever run with one of these and you need to replace it. Now remember, I believe there's a five-year or three-year warranty for this particular model. So if you have a gun, 
Uh, if you're like me and you waited almost too long, you would have lost the opportunity to get you a free replacement for the inside of this. So let's go ahead and work on that now and we'll get uh, to um, showing the video in detail. Thank you. Okay guys, so uh, here I am. Um, it's We have a total of one, one uh, Phillips screw head here, one here, 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 and here. So that's two, four, six, seven, eight. For a total of eight screws, and I'm just gonna use my um, Phillips uh, Dewalt bit here with my Milwaukee drill, uh, 12 volt. Um, anyways, if any of you guys are interested on how to order one of these, I will put that as well on the description below, especially right now during the holidays. Uh, for you guys that have husbands or just you DIY women um, who um, do it yourself and don't need a man's help, um, you'll find a link at the bottom as well. So let's go ahead and take these Phillips screw heads out and we'll go from there. Okay guys, so I'm back. Um, remember I pointed out here uh, there was a screw there, but there actually is not. So that actually makes it a total of seven screws. Now you're going to want to remove this by twisting and removing it from the actual gun. And then this here, these are always supposed to be just hand tight. Um, some people make the mistake and use a uh, pair of channel locks or and um, some uh, crescent wrench and you don't need to have it that tight. So um, I've already removed all this. Now here's an important thing is on this knob here, you have a Phillips screw head here as well at the top. So you want to make sure you remove this because when you go to pulling this, if this isn't out, it's going to keep you or prevent you from opening this uh, 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 molding here. All right, guys, so I have just removed the Phillips screw heads out of all these holes. As you can see here, I've also removed the little cap that goes on there. Like I said, if you don't remove this cap, so when you start pulling your molding apart, if you do not remove this nozzle, you're going to break it, and that is not going to be good. So um, next, we're going to come around here, and we're going to get a, uh, let me see what size it is. I'm going to say maybe a, um, a number three. Uh, maybe not a three metric. Maybe a number two and a half. Actually, let's try a two and a half. Yep, and it's a two and a half metric. So let's go ahead and do that now and we'll get back to the video. Okay guys, so I have uh, removed exactly five number two and a half uh, with this Allen wrench here. Um, and so now we're going to remove this. So I need to make a positioning so that you guys can see exactly how this thing is removed so let's go ahead and bring it down a little bit okay guys so Okay, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to remove this. Uh, actually, let's do it this way. You want to remove this up. Give me one second. All right, guys, so um, I went ahead and got a 5-in-1 because you want to be able to get in this crevices here. And uh, because it's, you know old and I've got paint on there you know when I wipe my gun I don't always clean it perfect and so you know paint will stick as you guys well know when you're doing baseboards or whatnot uh, you're always going to want to scar or um, uh, go in there with your utility knife and get the top of your baseboard so that when you re pull it you don't rip the paint off your walls 
or your sheet walk, rock rather and make create more work so basically all I did is I stuck my 5 in 1 in here just like this and then I just opened it up here did the same thing here boom and here we go so very important guys this right here this is I have no idea maybe some sort of a um, grounding for this um, normally it would be green so I went ahead and, and you, you you know if you don't remember where this comes off just remember that it is located at the back of the machine right here in this little area here so let me get a little closer see there's a little deal there and this just sits right like this see that Let's see if I can go sideways. There we go, right here. So you just take this little thing off like that. It comes right off. So what we're replacing today is this actual um, pump and motor. As you can see, Graco sent me one. It says, notice, do not this, re rotate the gear. Re remove this guard after insulation. So I'm assuming you're going to pull this whole thing out right here. See, there it is here. There ain't nothing. All you got to do is just carefully remove it and put it back exactly the way this one is. And just, um, uh, I noticed there's a screw here for your ground wire. See, there it is right there. Uh, so we got to take that off and put the new one on, okay? Okay. So let's go ahead and do that. See if I can get a good view here without running into any problems so um there is this little see this little silver thing right here it's got a hole in there for that screw uh, that goes in there so you have to remove that in order to be able to pull this entire thing out so let's go ahead and do that now boom there it is that easy that quickly so this new one is just going to go right back into place here and this says do not rotate gear after installing so I'm assuming this just pops completely out so if you can see here it shows it's got the grease all around it and says right there in the yellow sticker do not rotate this gear so I'm going to firmly set it back into place here it goes right in like that I didn't move the gears at all so now I'm going to put the screw back I mean, it literally just come right out, and, and it, the new one just fit right in. So let's go ahead and put this in. Oh, shit. No way. No, no way. No freaking way. Okay, so I just turned that damn gear. I hope it don't screw up my idea. Well, I should have used a Phillips uh, screwdriver. So I'm going to go ahead and get a Phillips screwdriver and uh, put this screw back in because that drill did not work very good. Okay, guys, so I did confirm that this green wire is a ground and it's connected to this little wire right here that I was showing y'all previously. 
So we're going to go ahead and use a Phillips screwdriver to align this screw straight ahead and get it screwed on there first. Um, and there it goes. That's what I should have done in the beginning. Got, oh, well, what is the deal here? Why does that not... So apparently, gentlemen, I'm having a little problems with this. Let me uh, take it out of its socket or out of its molding and screw it straight into it before I do anything else. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I had to use a crescent wrench, and I probably should have left that little yellow clip on there. So if this thing don't work, it's because I moved the gears. As it said, notice, do not rotate the gears, which I did not do intentionally. Um, but it's almost nearly impossible to try to put a screw back into this gear shaft without actually moving the gears. So, um, you know, it is what it is, and we're going to put it back together. Um, as you see here, we have two rubber moldings. This is actually the full molding, which you sh that's the area that you want to put it on. Uh, you do not want to put it on this one because when, you know, this side here does not hold. I mean, everything is 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 prefabricated and molded exactly the way you need it in order to do replacements well in this particular situation um, you know when I removed the top I had to if you notice I flipped it back on the back side so that you actually have the full hole molding which is where everything is aligned perfectly so that when you do put your replacement parts back in there uh, you don't have any problems with this coming apart like it did here but nonetheless, this one here, it'll go just right in like this. Um, let me see here. I've got to line up. Let's see here. I got it backwards, that's why. Okay, so then this just slides back right in like this. Boom. Make sure none of the wires are in harm's way. And this one goes just like this. And it lines up. Well. Should slide right on there. Oh, something's going on here. Should just go right up in there. Ah, well, that shouldn't have mattered right there. into place. There we go guys. It is into place there. And then this goes in first actually. Gosh darn it. So this goes in first ladies and gentlemen. Once that is set into place and this goes right up over it. 
boom. And then what do you know, this dang piece that we were having problems with came out. And there, that is in place there. So now, something's holding me back here. This is freaking. You're kidding me, right? Obviously, there's something holding me here that is just not allowing me to close this set of a gun all the way. Why? Put your screws back in there. Again, there's only five of these screws here. Now, I am not sponsored by Graco whatsoever, so I don't want you to guys think, oh, well, this dude's getting all these free parts. I paid almost uh, $800 for this particular item at the time that it was being sold. And you know what? I am thinking I just put the wrong freaking screws on the wrong freaking side, and I did. Son of a gun. screwed up here so let's redo this crap one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven yep
So make sure you put your screws in the right size, the right side, guys. Very important. Because then you get screws either too big or bigger than the other ones. put a lot of screws in there really fast. I didn't realize how quick I am. Yeah, right. Okay, so moment of truth. All my screws have been put on. It sounds pretty good. Um, let's hope and pray it works.